guys today we're doing something so different mm -hmm. um we're not going for a restaurant tour today we're visiting it's a but what am i gonna call it a location um tour this time around because i am at the karen blixen karen blixen i want to say karen blixen museum in karen and it's the first time I'm going like on a location tour on my own so this is a little bit more um scary than going to a restaurant because this is a tour and people expect because it's a tour you're supposed to have people but no it's just me so um let's go another lazy afternoon the clouds covered in gray third Coffee of the day Ooh. Almost fell asleep on soon I yawn at the display Third meeting of the day Ooh. But I can hear raindrops that dancing on the Used 
used to call me sweetheart It was different when we first met fast car With your hand on my headrest, wow Your voice was my favorite sound, oh But now you say you miss me Haven't seen you in a while since you did what you said you would never do Like I thought, it's actually very, very um, interesting because they have actual furniture that Karen used over a hundred years ago. So that was almost like two, what? No, almost a hundred years ago. I almost say two hundred years ago, but that just doesn't make sense. Anyway, so now I'm just taking a nature trail. We have like this nature trail that goes back to the parking lot and that's what i'm taking right now she the tour guide promised me that we have like they don't have any snakes that's the only thing i could be scared of right now she said they don't have it so i can t easily take a walk but this is not like i knew this was a different museum than the regular museums because this is a person's life like you know you kind of like sit down first and listen and be told about about the person's life um how she was born well when she was born how she came here what she did when she was here and most importantly why she had a museum built for her and then after that you just go into the house you check out all the things you know you check out everything that she used to have her furniture i've seen a typewriter a very tiny typewriter and i remember when my mom told me she was doing her computer exams and she was in still in high school she had to do it in a typewriter but i'm pretty sure it wasn't like this one because the typewriter from the 19th century the 1900s oh my. So let's fucking go home. I actually want to pee. <laughs> oh my god, I feel like I really seriously need to pee. But let's just take a walk and then probably go back inside. Do I still have like. Hold up. I don't think I can get home in my state right now. for me to go home <laughs> that was an actually nice well spent afternoon plus i only spent 200 so yeah i felt so happy it was so nice like going out and like looking at nature um i don't know why i was so scared i don't even know why i was so scared maybe next time i go to the national museum and just you know start going to uh, historical places apparently now i am a very much excited about historical like places because i don't know it's so much fun like looking at like 
historical figures yeah i am literally <laughs> on the side of the road outside like the parking outside um the place so i'm just chilling i'm not chilling this is what i wanted to do i wanted to like film and finish and then um i go home because my mom is telling me i need to rush home first uh for a resume let's go okay let's go but anyway guys i'm gonna end this video right here because i don't think i'm gonna film anymore i'm tired i have to go home and edit for tomorrow's video so i'm gonna see you guys in the next video goodbye she's a mona lisa everyone's lining up to see her She's a Mona Lisa Everyone's lining up to see her